Feels like love. Cupid made a shot. Hi guys, welcome, welcome back. So today we're going to talk a little bit about Rubber Base and I have here the collection of Rubber Base by Born Pretty. They have eight in the complete collection, seven colors, and then you have the clear as well. So quite pretty. I do want to go ahead and give them a swatch today. We will see exactly what the colors look like and then we're going to also talk a little bit more about what, exactly what Rubber Base is. I think it's kind of confusing to a lot of people. Nothing to do with rubber. Um, you can use it under products, but you can also use it on your natural nail. And that's really what it's main, mainly meant for, is for your natural nail to just to get it to be stronger. And rubber base actually is quite flexible. It's one of the most flexible gels, so it moves very, very well with your natural nail. So that's why it works best on top of your natural nail. I personally do not think it is good for an extension. This is G01. It's a beautiful milky white. And the reason that I don't find it's good for an extension is because it is quite flexible. It's too flexible to stand on its own. Now it could be used as an extension if you're going to use a form and then put a hard gel on top. But then you will, you will, I don't know, I feel like you're going to get separation. I don't feel it's the best use for it that way. But you definitely can use it in other ways. And I'll show you how you can use it on your natural nail for an extension with a tip, not so much a form. So that is the first coat of 01. That is a beautiful milky white. We'll do two layers. I just kind of want to go through it so we can see the full colors. So this, this is G02. Looks like a beautiful pink. Rubber base has a consistency, almost like a builder in a bottle, I would say. So with this, you're going to want to do nice, thin, even layers. You don't want to go too thick. And then also let the product do the work for you. Give it a second before you throw it in the lamp, before you put your hand in the lamp, give it a second to melt into itself and it will really will self level very, very beautifully. You just gotta give it a sec. A little patience. This is G03. Oh, you're pretty. A bit more of like a rosy undertone on this one. I feel like this is what I have on my nails right now. I feel like that is what I have. I think so. I'm actually not even a hundred percent sure, but I'm pr it, it does look like to be the same color. I just grabbed one. <laughs> In all truth, this is G04. So all I did for my nail is I just buffed it. I did go ahead and put a primer on my natural nail. I would recommend a primer. I feel like it just is going to make sure that it really sticks. But with rubber bases, they do have, um, sorry, I lost my train of thought. They do stick to natural nail really, really well. I still prefer to go in with the primer first before I do any application of anything on my nails. Just giving it that little extra. Okay, so let's just go ahead. We'll quickly do the second coat. Two coats is all you really need. Unless, again, you want to really, really get the color. We're going to see how two to three coats would look. I think it, you're going to get like really good coverage, I feel, with two coats even. So that is two coats. For a milky white, I feel like that's all you would need. Okay. Two. Let's try this pink. Okay. 
of it again. I think two coats is beautiful. Great coverage. And you tell, like, if you just give it a few seconds, it really just melts into itself. Self levels beautifully. Three. Again, beautiful and we'll just quickly go in and do four and then we will continue to do the other three colors um let me you know what for the demonstration purposes i will do the clear we can see how clear that clear is if there's something you wanted just to go over your natural nail just to give it strength and i personally i find with me and the reason i even put this on my nails i usually do extensions or some some sort of some sort of extension on my nails i don't usually have my natural nail often but lately i'm just doing a lot of like stuff around the house and i'm filming a lot of different things so my nails are on and off a lot right now so i do find using the rubber base has actually really helped to protect my natural nail with taking on and off especially when you're using the gel x method this is 05 so it's really giving me that extra protected layer for my natural nail and I will show you when we're done looking at all these beautiful colors how to how you can use this with a tip extension or if you want to use the gel X method with using these gels. Okay, gorgeous. This is number six. I love this color too. And you could also buy these individual guys. You're not out to get the whole collection. I personally am a collection type of girl. I really like to have the whole collections. So, but you don't, like, you can just pick a color or two if you're wanting to try it out and see if it's something that can work for you. Kind of help build your strength in your nails up a little bit. I do have a discount code with Warren Pretty, so you can, that'll help you save a little bit of money. So, that gives you a little bit more incentive to go try it, right? We love discounts. I know I love a good discount. Anytime I can get a discount on something, Honestly, it will kind of opt me to go try them because I'm like, okay, I'm going to save a little money in wanting to try the product. So this is number seven. It's like a nice pinky. It's like a milky pink. Does that make sense? I'm terrible at describing these, but I feel like this is what this is giving me, a milky pink. You see how it just like literally melts into each other. It self levels so nice. It's gorgeous. Okay, I stick that in the lamp. Now, just for the purpose of this beautiful video, we're just gonna do the clear. Again, this could go on your natural nail just to give it strength if you don't want a color or say you can't wear a color i know a lot of jobs like you can't wear nail polish you can't wear extensions all these type of things this i feel like who would know and it's going to give your nail strength right so this way you won't have all that breakage i know with all the sanitizer and washing your hands so much it's really hard on our nails so if you can't do a nail polish or an extension, something to help strengthen them that way, this is a great alternative. Oh, it's quite clear. It's a good clear. Come on, no bubbles. Okay. I like it. I know sometimes you think, why would you ever swatch a clear? Clear is clear. Not always though. Not always. Clear isn't always clear. Okay, let's. I'll quickly go back and just do these ones here. A second coat. And then I'll top coat them. And then we'll come back and look at the colors a little bit. 
I know you guys don't want to sit and watch me do this. Alrighty, so we're all done. I do put a top coat. They do have an inhibition layer, so you're going to have to top coat them. So these are all the pretty colors. I love them, actually. Like, I really love the color range that they offer. Very natural. I think would go with any skin tone. Yeah, they're really nice. I really do like them. Okay, so with these, like I said, guys, you do get seven colors in a clear if you want to go for the whole kit. Do I have a favorite? I don't know. I went for this one on my nail, so. And it's just light. Like, you can still see my nails underneath, but it's just protecting them because... I don't know about you guys, but my natural nails, probably because I do a lot to them, but they're thin, they break easy. Like, I'll sit and I won't even realize and I'll be, like, picking them or, like... So they'll just get all wonky on me. This, I find, is really good because I notice that it's there. But it's still very lightweight. The wind is howling today, guys. Like, whoa. It's like 10 degrees, though. Like, is that not crazy? Um, yeah, so I just feel like it, it reminds me to be like, okay, don't pick them. Do you know what I mean? Having something on my nails. So I really, really like that. So those are the beautiful colors. Now, I want to show you quickly exactly what reinforcement gel can do. I thought I would throw that into this as well, as we're kind of going to do a little bit of demonstrations of what you can still do with these. If you want to do an extension or even just to protect your natural nail, to strengthen your natural nail. As me as a content creator, I'm always putting nails on and taking them off. So over time, it can just be the wear and tear on your nails, right? Even if you do take them off in acetone and soak them off. Me with hard gel, I have to file off my nails when I do nail extensions. The Gel X you could definitely soak off. But again, you're soaking in acetone, which is drying out your nails and, you know. So this, I've noticed, I like to do what I, what I have been doing lately is actually using a, uh, a peel base. So I can just peel off the nail, which there still can be some damage. So you still have to be careful with that. So with having this protecting my nails underneath... I'm going to put the peel base on top of this and then hopefully it'll just peel off and not touch it like it won't touch my natural nail right so we're going to test that theory out today because i haven't done that yet but again i wanted to show you quickly what exactly the reinforcement gel they have too so they do offer this as well so if you do find that your nails are very flat and you just you, even your natural nail right sometimes i find you get a flat press on even and i've done this with press ons because i just don't like the way that they look so flat so and you don't notice it till it's on your nail and then by then i'm just like oh, i'm not taking it off let's try to like make it look more sculpted so this can work great for that too but again for natural nails if you have a very flat nails and you just want to give them that natural curvature that we have i have a little bit mine are still mine are pretty flat Mine are kind of in rough shape right now, but so I went ahead and I did her, what did I do? I think I just did three, no, I lied. So I did number two, beautiful color. So again, with this, it's going to be a little hard to tell, but eh, not really. We'll figure that out here in a sec. So if you look here, see how we're pretty straight. We're gonna see and try to give that a little bit of a, more of an apex. So that's all we're gonna do. So this is what these gels are really good for. And again, they're great for strength as well, the reinforcement, but they're not gonna be as flexible as the rubber base. The rubber base is like the ultimate flexibility right now. And I'll show you how flexible it is. We will put it on the back of a form and we will play with it or rev and tear it and see that here in a second as well. Okay, so now we got a good medium coverage on our nail. We're still flat, so you're like, girl, what are you talking about? Get a little bit on there. And right where your apex is, just going to take a little bit. back and forth you want to kind of you want to keep in contact with the polish that will help prevent any air pockets okay now go up the middle and again concentrating where you want your apex now this is key flip your finger upside down for a minute a few seconds 
just help that gel pool where you want it to pool and it'll pool right in your apex area sliding from the sidewall so you're not going to get that chubby nail we want that slim still slender nail with a good little apex so you can kind of see here how it kind of it came up we pulled nicely and it's going to self level now we're going to stick it in the lamp back out of the lamp not bad I feel like we'd have to, right here, we got a little extra, do you see? So we'd have to wipe and file that for sure because I think we allowed it to pull a little too much. But that's not that craze. We're just going to wipe it off. I'm going to get my file here. I need a new one, so we're just going to rip this off. I like to use the metal files so you can just replace them and then you just take the backing off this grit here that we're going to use is a 240 just line it up Line it up. Okay, now from that, I just keep an old file on hand. We're going to season it, so go around all your edges. That's all you need, you just want to soften them. to fix this little lady up here. good when your client's finger falls off finger all where we needed it to be so we now we're kind of having a little bit more of that arch right in here it's not that crazy you will tell a difference when it's on yourself and that and you're wearing it you will notice that you have that apex and you do have that little extra so you can build that out with the reinforcement gel which also is good for strength and stuff like that like I said but your rubber base is going to be, if you're using it on your natural nail, your rubber base is going to give you more bang for your buck. And then you would top coat that, and then your nail would be all pretty, ready to go. Okay, so let's do a couple little demonstrations of what else you can use rubber base for. So me here on my hands. Just grab that little pillow. I have the rubber base on my nail. All I did to my natural nail was prep it. Now you normally would go in and prepping your natural nail, you would take off all any dead cuticle, go around your cuticle, push them back, push, sorry, push back your nail proximal fold. So let's just do a slight demonstration here because realistically, we're all like, we're not all professionals. Some of us are newer in the game and I want this to apply to everybody. Where did I have, oh, I have them right here. Okay, so cuticle pusher, we're going to take that, we're just going to go nice and gentle, push back our nail, nice and gentle. So right now what I'm pushing back, this skin right here, which we think is our cuticle, is actually called your nail proximal fold. So the live skin is called your nail proximal fold and the dead skin around it that we see is called our cuticle. 
So that, the cuticle, we, we're pushing back our nail proximal fold to expose any dead cuticle on there. And that's the stuff we want to get rid of. We want to get rid of any of the skin that lays on our nail, so that way we don't have any lifting. If we leave that on there, any product, we'll just lift with that over time. So we want to go in and get rid of all that. Now that that's done, you're going to take a wipe, you're going to clean your nail. Fresh, fresh clean. You're going to get a buffer. You're going to want to buff Make sure that you take off all the shine of your nails. Okay, all the shine's gone. Clean nails. Now we're gonna go in and pick whatever color you want. And, okay, sorry, I lied. Personally, my personal opinion, I would take the Born Pretty Nail Primer, go in over your natural nail, and all that is, is just that comes like this. You go in, I'll show you how much you don't, you wouldn't need a lot, just go in. That's it, one, two, okay? Ignore me wiping it off, I don't want you to do that. Keep that on your nail. And it almost has this little stickiness, it's almost like a glue, like your little double-sided tape. They work really well, so put that on your nail first. They say you don't have to. Go the extra mile and I promise you it'll be worth it in the end. So do that. If not, if you see if you don't have the nail primer and you only have this, you just didn't buy it, no worries. Go in with an alcohol and really just dry out your natural nail as best you can. So we want to really dehydrate that nail. Okay, so after we did that, we dehydrated it. If you don't have the primer, it, it's okay. I would recommend getting the primer with it. It's not too much, it's a few dollars. Put the primer on, and now we can go ahead and pick whatever color. So say we picked, what color did we pick, I feel? I almost feel like it's this one. This little baby pink. Okay, so we're gonna put our two coats, put it in the lamp, now we're done. Okay, so I put a top coat on, and Born Pretty has a beautiful top coat. I use their super top coat. I put that on my nails. So for this demonstration, natural nail, you're good to go. You can go about your day and just have your natural nails. But say if you wanted to use the Gel X method, for example. And me, I'm a content creator, so I do a lot of different nails. And sometimes I just use my own nails, in all truth. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to put a peel off base on top of the rubber base that I have on my nails. And you've seen I slightly filed that just a little bit, like I slightly buffed it and then wiped it off. That's all I'm gonna do because I really want these nails to come off. So if you have your top coat on there, I wouldn't even buff it. Just leave it. It'll let them come off a lot easier. If you want them to stick and stay, then, you know, buff it a little. But we're trying to take these off easy, so. If not, then don't use a peel base. Just skip this whole, um, skip this whole segment right here, this little piece. I'm just doing this mainly because I want these nails that I'm going to show you how to put on to pop off of me very easily. Okay, let's do that over again. So now I'm gonna put a peel base. I completely just did the wrong thing. Glad I noticed that. So now I'm gonna go with the peel base. Um, and like I said, I'm just doing this for this demonstration purpose because I do switch out my nails a lot and this is, I wanted these to be easily popped off. Now for peel base, I'm not going to say which one I'm using now. Let me know if you want me to tell and go through what peel base I find works best. I've tried a few and I've ripped off a little, quite a few nails and testing these out in all truth. Not fully ripped off my nails, I'm not saying that, but like it's not peel base. It does not peel off your hat, like your fingers, the way it should. As of this second, I've only found one that works for me that peels off every time and doesn't overly damage my nails. Now with using the Born Pretty rubber base, I'm going to use that as a protectant, like a, an extra protectant on my natural nails when I'm gonna use the Gel X method or tips or anything like that that I always want it to peel off easy for me. But if you don't want your nails to peel off, then don't use a peel off base. 
you would kind of skip this whole step to be honest okay so that should be good so let's go how you would do a tip have my little two-in-one lamp which i absolutely love i think it works great it is a melody Susie lamp so i i love her i'm not gonna lie okay so for a tip i'm going to use the six in one nail glue and i'm just going to use this square tip this is a number six it fits beautifully on both sides of my finger so we're just going to get a little bit of glue let's turn on our light now with a tip you just want to go to the edge of your nail make sure your sidewalls are nice even and then we can go in okay now you can put it in oops you can put it in your big lamp make sure that it's fully cured we want that to adhere to our nail in this case we want it to adhere to the rubber base kind of having that extra protective layer now you can do this with an overlay i mean you can do that with acrylic you can do that with um, builder gel you can do that with hard gel whatever product you're using it's perfectly fine to go over and do this i'm not going to fully go in and show you how you would build it out with a gel i feel like that's good for a separate video but now that we have our tip on you would just do what you normally would do to prep a tip first things first find your file so you would go in make sure your little wings are down Okay, hold, always hold when you're doing your shape, because if not, that will or could pop off. Now you're going to want to blend your tip in. You always want to try to blend as much as you can that tip into your nail. Okay, we're just going to go ahead. Give it all a good little rough up. Find a wipe. Okay, so now we have our tip on. I was like, did I really put that on crooked? But no, it's straight. It's my whole hand's crooked. Um. Okay, so yes, now you have your tip on. For instance, how we would do this, let's just grab this little brush here for example purposes. Okay, we have our tip on. Get in there, make sure it's all nice and clean. You can do that with your white perfect, perfectly fine. You're gonna prep this the same way. Now, we don't need to put a base coat on because we have the rubber base already on our nail, right? So you wouldn't put your normal base as you would before you're going to put your gel or your acrylic or anything like that. Now what you want to do here, I again would recommend going in with a primer just to make sure you give it a good little go. So I would, I don't know if they would tell me that's not right. They might, they might be like, no, don't do that. I don't feel it being any harm. Go over a little primer. But in all truth, you, like, you really should be fine. That's just me being extra. So go in with your primer. Now everything is fine. You go in with whatever product you want to use. So in my case, I would use a hard gel or a builder gel. So an extension gel like this, Born Pretty has some beautiful gels. And that's it. Like You really would just go and build. I'm gonna get off and you just build your nail
wipe off the inhibition layer. And there we are. We're gonna have to file that a little bit. A lot of it. But I don't want to mess up what we're gonna do over here to this now because it's already getting a little bit thing. So we have that on now. Say if we want to do the gel X method. We have a nail here, look both sides, fits nicely. Again, I'm just gonna use the Born Pretty glue. Put a little bit in there. Put on our little lights. Now, make sure we're good and straight. A little too much glue. <laughs> I can get in there and just kind of wipe out some of that. You can just get in and wipe that out before it fully cures and then go in and make sure that you give that a full cure. Well, there you go. You're good to go for that too. Now with the full cover, because you have the strength of the actual tip, you could definitely go in with your rubber base here again. So once you're good and we think that's all nice and cured, cute little nail. I'll show you the end result of that one once we get it filed. Sorry, let me just get that out of your way, I apologize. Okay, we wanna buff up that um, press on. We do not wanna leave that. You need, we need something for the gel to stick to regardless, right? So we have to buff it up. Okay, let's go the darkest color. Should we? Yeah, let's go the darkest. So we're just gonna use number six. And this, even in its own self, will give that press on a nice, more sculpted look because it's gonna build it up a little bit. Not too thick, remember we don't want to go thick still, we still want to keep it nice and thin. Then if you really want that press on to look just like absolutely stunning, go around your nail proximal fold with a file before doing all this and just thin out that um, the edges. I usually always makes it look a lot more sculpted. I didn't do a very good job, okay cleaned our edges now we're just going to go in the lamp give it at 60. it needs its time to do its thing i don't really wouldn't say it's going to give like it'll make the plastic of your extension or your gel extension whatever type of tip you're using is acrylic or gel they make nowadays for your full tip it will give it some strength but really like just the press on itself is what's going to give you the adherence to the nail so really you always want to use a good glue and the six and one from born pretty is a really good glue for the gel x method so we're just going to fully cure that then we're going to go in we're going to put our super shine top coat on that one nail then i'm going to come back i'm going to file the other nail quickly here and then i'll come back and i'll show you what they look okay like. so we're back now again let's go over these few things uh, so we use the extension gel to do this now i just gave it a quick file she needed it so again thank you for focusing this you're gonna want your apex so we have a nice apex here coming out it's a little bit of a longer nail so you're gonna want a decent apex and coming out into a square square is not my most favorite shape on myself or even doing i find it a little hard to do squares but i think that one came out pretty good nice c curve we're not too thick which is very important cut that off so that is one way you can use the rubber base we put that on first and it's protecting our nail now this is actually a builder i believe An extension gel i'm pretty sure it's a builder so i'm pretty sure you can soak off board pretty product i haven't actually tried that yet i should i haven't done a video on that in all truth um i've used it it works good i just haven't done filming <laughs> 
So I'm pretty sure this is a soak off, so you wouldn't have to worry about this. But me, I use majority is hard gel. With hard gel, you have to file off. So using the rubber base underneath of an extension, I can file off until I see the color and then I can soak it off if I want because this is a soak off product. So it's a, another way just to kind of, if you're a little bit scared to try a hard gel because of the file off, this gives you that soak off method with it as well. You just file off all the hard gel and you'll be left with this and then you can soak that off from your natural nail. So one way. Another way to use it, it's the gel X method. This is just a press on. We put it over top. So we have this on the bottom over top. And then we put the color over top of the nail. The plastic or the acrylic of the nail or the gel of the nail will give it its strength. And that will help a little bit, but it's pretty flexible. I'll show you. I put a little bit here on a swatch or on the back of a paper. Um, this is 06. Now I just put some on a form. Let's get rid of that inhibition layer. We don't want to be touching that. Mm, the back of it as well. So this is what I mean by rubber base. It's very, very flexible. Like it's, it's very rubbery, right? So if you're trying to put this as an extension on your nail with a form, I mean, that's not gonna, you, you, that's not gonna work realistically, right? So we're gonna need something under either a tip or a gel X method. So which is a press on method. This, I actually use the extension gel to build it out, to give it a strength. This, you you can't build a nail out with the, the rubber base. It's just not strong enough. Now you could go in with this for your color and then go in with a clear gel over top. Born Pretty also has a clear gel in their extension gels, which would work just as fine that way as well. So again, this is what it is. It's nothing to do with rubber. There's no rubber in it at all, but it's very flexible. So you can't do this with a lot or really any other type of bases, right? So but it still has good strength. So <laughs> that's as hard as I can pull and it's just stretching. So there we go. We really rip it at thin end. So imagine that on your nail, our nails move a lot. So this will move with our natural nail and you won't have that like separation, which is awesome. So I like that. I really like the way it comes out. I like their extension gel too. It works great. And then the last but not least way, sorry, I almost forgot like the regular way to use it is just on your natural nail. So all we did is just prep our natural nail like you would anything else and just put it on two coats and that'll give your natural nail a lot of strength. So there's a couple different ways to use it. I recommend using a primer. We did just use the six in one glue. That works great for almost anything. Even putting your, um, your press on, on your nail tips on anything like that. That works really, really well. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was definitely fun to make and create and learn about what rubber base really is. I think there's a lot of misconception of what it actually is, but it's really, really good for natural nails and it'll help your natural nail just get stronger. Even if you're going to do extra stuff to it, it kind of is an extra layer of protection. So thank you guys so, so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There is discount codes or will be. Go check it out. They Born Pretty has all that you could really imagine. Like you said, they do sell these individual or in the whole collection. And we even figured out what exactly reinforcement gel does to build up our nail and give us that little bit of C curve that we like. So they also have that available on their website. They have all these goodies there. So go check them out. There'll be a discount code. Save yourself some money and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Now, let's see how that rubber base really did. Let's see if that peel base is going to let me take off just the peel base and keep the other. I don't know. Oh, so I did a little bit. Okay, so my rubber base, or sorry, my 
peel base is there, but it did start peeling the actual gel right there a little bit. So that is where you can run into damage. But I feel like it did good though. It peeled up. Yeah, it kind of took up the rubber base with the peel peel off base. So that didn't give me exactly what I would want to help protect my natural nail. That's just gonna rip up my natural nail. Worse than using just the peel base. Oh god, let's try this guy. Now that I know it did that, this is a little more scary. I don't even think I should try this. But, curiosity. We'll have to soak that off. But it did not do what I wanted it to do. I was really hoping that the peel, this would still stay on my nail. The rubber base would stay on my nail and the peel base. But it's, I was asking for a lot, to be honest, for it to do that. I was hoping it would. That would have been an awesome thing. But let's be real. I do not like the amount of force of that having to do so that one definitely I would not recommend peeling that one off because I know that the peel base is actually adhering to the top coat or the base the built oh and she girl get it together because I know that the peel off base is actually adhering to the rubber base and it's wanting for me to pull the rubber base off that's gonna damage my nail Quite a bit and we're trying to avoid that so that's actually not giving me exactly what I would like for content creating the rubber base or sorry the peel base is just it works great by itself so that method would not work and because I know it's not gonna work you hear that I'm not gonna take a chance in ripping that off so your girl's gonna cut it off and soak it off I think that is the smartest thing to do Snip, and I'll soak that off. Well, I'll file it down first, and then I'll soak it off. Hope this helped, guys. Just put a little acetone on the wraps, and the product comes off very easily. is nice because that means you don't have to have your finger in acetone for a long time. It's less than a five minute soak. Okay. 